Hello everybody, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Everyday May video. Today's video is going to be, I was about to say inspired by, but it's just completely copying. I am recreating this makeup look that Melissa Dot Herkman did on Instagram. I told you guys that I have been creeping. I've been stalking the gram. I have been loving up on all of the makeup artists and I'm just obsessed with looking at how these makeup artists play with color and they just take the most beautiful photos and I love it. I love it when makeup artists actually write the products that they use and Melissa Herkman posted this photo, okay? Melissa Dot Herkman of the makeup she did on this model and she actually wrote the products that she used which were the Makeup Forever eyeshadow and the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick and I was just, I, I've had this in my save folder for a while. I am in love with this look. I am loving these like one washes of color on the lid so I wanted to attempt to recreate it for you guys here today. Obviously I do not look like this uh, stunning Lexi Wood here but we tried, okay? We tried. <laughs> I felt like this makeup look in particular really warranted a fake tan, so I cracked out the Saint Tropez. It's been a very long time since I've applied a tan, so we're feeling uh, bronze today, and I wanted to recreate this look for you guys. So if you wanna see how I did it, please do just keep on watching. I'm super excited, loving playing with color right now. Let me know what your thoughts are. All products that I have used will be listed in the description box down below. Anything I'm wearing, anything that's on my face, all the deets, all that, check the description box. If you like what you see, please do give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click that subscribe button if you want to see more from moi. All right guys, I've got my tan. She's ready and rolling. My face is, is lighter than my tan and these zits are, ooh, that's popping. I'm going to start with the, the usual base. I'm gonna spritz some Farsali. Thank you, Gina. I'm gonna take the Smashbox primerizer and just prep my skin with this around. This is the mouth. And then I'm gonna take the Kevin Aquan Spectrum Bronze. I am loving this. You'll probably be seeing this all summer long from me because I just love the feeling of this glass glow face. It's so nice. I feel like Kevin Aquan in general just speaks to my soul with his products. Their products, I guess, you know, RIP Kevin Aquan. Ugh, yes, just sweet, succulent bronziness. I love it. So I haven't applied a fake tan in such a long time, and I haven't been this level of deep since I got back from Europe last summer, and that is when I purchased this, and I haven't tried it since then. It's the Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation. I purchased this right when I got home from Europe last summer. I was with Sam, and it was before the fall VIB sale. I remember we went and did a huge Sephora splurge, and then they randomly did an addition um, Sephora VAB sale, which they'd never done before and it threw us all amok. But anyway, I haven't used it since then because I haven't been this deep since then. But I'm excited, I'm excited to play with it again. I'm just gonna apply some with my hands. I truly couldn't even begin to tell you what this finish is like. I don't remember at all. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and just blend that out. What a delightful glowy base this is. It looks so nice and healthy and dewy <laughs> when I was applying the tan and I very clearly was bending my neck because now I have like the indent rolls <laughs> on my neck from where it got sticky. I'm gonna use the same concealer concoction that I did the other day, the L'Oreal Super Blendable Concealer. I actually bought a backup of this because this one, as you can see, is empty. I have used it all up. I got the same color that I had before, Light C34. This L'Oreal Super Blendable Concealer was $19.99 Canadian, okay? It's got 1.5 milliliters in here, okay? 0 0.05 fluid ounces. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer is like, what, $36? But there is six milliliters in here. This is literally like four times. <laughs> more expensive than the NARS one. That's probably not correct math, but it's a lot more. That is crazy. Look at that. The more you know, the more you know. This is gonna be a lot lighter, but I am gonna take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm just applying that around this area because Got a lot of zits right now. And I kind of want something a little bit more flawless because the reference photo that we were referencing is very, very, very flawless indeed. Take the 
the beauty sponge, blend it all out. So I was gonna hold off with setting powder, but I think I'm just gonna set my eyes and around the under eye using my Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. I'm just patting that in with the sponge just so we don't get any movement or creasing around the concealer that we've just applied. And then I'm gonna bronze up the skin using my Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer, Coconut Tan. Oh my gosh, if anyone watches ASMR, we'll link that video below. For those of you who know, if you know, you know. Then for highlighter, I actually just purchased this um, due to a recommendation from Marissa who works at MAC. Whisper of Guilt. I feel like this was raved about years and years and years ago and I never actually got my hands on it and I never used it because it was always too dark, but I did purchase it in a recent MAC order. You know, the one we did with the art library, all that good stuff in anticipation for applying my tan. So now that I have my fake tan on, I'm like, hell yeah, girl, I'm gonna dip into this. So we're going to uh, see what all the hype is about. This is their extra dimension skin finish. Ooh, wow. Ooh, 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 ooh. How very lovely. This is the Real Technique setting brush, by the way. I've been using this a lot lately when I apply highlighters. I feel like when makeup artists do their makeup, they're so specific with, with the placement of the product, and I always just like slap it all over my face. Whoops. I'm also gonna put that on the inner corners of my eyes just while we're here because I'm gonna be doing another little like one shade wonder on my lid. So I just wanna get this out of the way while we've got the highlighter out. That's a really pretty inner corner highlight. Zam. Zam. And for blush to go with the lip that we're using later, because here's the thing, in the picture, she's using Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. Therefore, I assume she may also be using the liner, which I don't have. But she didn't mention the blush, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that we can use the Pillow Talk blush, and it'll hopefully look similar to the model. And the Pillow Talk blush, I checked Beautylish, and it is sold out. And I know that, that was a lot. That's a lot of blush. I really screwed that up. Whoops. <laughs> I know that back in like January or February, sometime around there, they actually did a relaunch of the Pillow Talk blush. So I assume that it's just in such high demand. But if you can find it in store, like Nordstrom, Sephora, all that good stuff, they all sell Pillow Talk. And it's such a pretty blush. Honestly, it's the nicest little natural flushes of color that I that I have put on my face. I really do enjoy it a lot. So that's the Pillow Talk blush. I am just gonna go ahead and apply the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. I actually just repurchased this for this video. I feel like I gave it to my mom or something. Whenever like friends or family are like, ooh, I love that. That's so nice. I'm like, here, have it. And then when I go to find it in my pile, I can't find it. So <laughs> anyway, repurchase this lipstick. Absolutely lovely nude. I've used it a ton on my channel. And again, she probably did use a liner, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just use the lipstick. I think it matches the, the blush very well. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows. I'm gonna use my little Benefit team here, the Precisely My Brow Pencil and also the Gimme Brow. I have both of these in the shade two. And I'm going to use these to bring some life back into my brows. And then I'm gonna take the Gimme Brow and set that all in. Okay, so now for the fun part, the eyes. I am so excited. This look, it's Melissa Herkman. Melissa Herkman, she posted this look and I am fully, fully just trying to create this right now. But it would appear as though she just has the Makeup Forever Aqua XL color paint. This is the shade M70, it's the orange one. And this is a shadow paint from Makeup Forever. And it appears, it appears as though she just has this blended out all over the lid and I think it's just so stunning. Pillow talk on the lips and the cheeks. Obviously this woman is a goddess sent from above. It's not gonna, it's not gonna look like that, but we're gonna try our bestest. <laughs> 
So I checked the Makeup Forever description on how to apply this and it says that you can apply it in sheer coats and it says to wait for one coat to dry before applying another one and it says to apply it with a flat paddle brush. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dibble some of this out. Ooh, yeah, she looks pigmented, folks. So I'm just gonna take some of that on the back of my hand and we're gonna try applying this. Oh, wow. Over the lid. And then hopefully before it sets, we can do some quick blending action. And it looks like she's blended it into somewhat of a cat eye shape. So I'm just gonna pull that out a little bit more. Okay, and before that sets, I'm just gonna take a MAC 217 blending brush. And just blend that out. We are losing opacity. It definitely goes into a more pinky hue as you blend it out. It almost looks more like a coral. I'm gonna go ahead and apply another layer on top. It's definitely drying very fast. Like the little bits on my hand have already dried. Fast drying product, move swiftly with this. But how pretty is that? Cool, all right. I can get down in the DMs with this. <laughs> And that's it, that's it, wow. What a fun color, what a really, really fun color. Okay, so it also appears as though they have a little bit, like a tiny little bit of a black shadow kind of lining the lash line and a little mini, mini flick. So I am gonna take this Wet n Wild, my Glamour Squad palette, dip into this black here with my MAC 208 brush. And I'm just gonna super, super lightly press that onto the lash line. It's a very, very pigmented black. Really impressive from the drugstore. And I'm just gonna super lightly just end it on a little flick. And you can see it just defines the lash line and kind of elongates the eye a little bit in that little cat eye shape. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my bronzer and apply that to the lower lash line. Now in the reference photo, it didn't look like they focused on mascara a whole lot. Like the chick barely looked like she had any mascara on, but I am gonna do a little bit of a, a little bit of a layer using my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. And I'm just gonna apply this on the upper lashes and I'm gonna do a really light coat. And this, my friends, is the finished look. I love it. Melissa Herkman. You're a genius woman. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I am having such a fun time looking for inspo on Instagram, stalking makeup artists, and seeing some of the ways that they are wearing and using color in such simple, wearable, everyday ways. I am absolutely obsessed with this. I love how simple it is to apply. It is foolproof, my people. <laughs> I think this is so fun and, I, and I'm and i really gonna try and make like a true effort to introduce more color and have a lot more fun with makeup into my world because I feel like I'm such a such an old geezer when it comes to makeup and I'm, and I'm so stuck in my ways and I'm trying to branch out a little bit and I'm really having fun playing with these colors and I love how simple it is and I really hope that you guys are enjoying it too. If you recreate this look, be sure to tag me at Alanorama everywhere on Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Definitely check out Melissa Herkman. Her work is stunning. Melissa Melissa.herkman, that's her, that's her thing right there. So as you finish look, you guys, let me know if you have any other looks that you would like me to recreate, please do send them on over to me on Instagram or Twitter. I really hope that you enjoyed this look. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow for another Everyday May video. Bye.